A very dangerous weather pattern is setting up across the United States, and this is going to lead to a big uptick in severe weather as we go over the next 7 to 10 days. In addition to the threat for some significant flooding for today, even into tomorrow. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about the weather pattern that's going to be impacting the United States between today all the way through the end of next week, where we could start to see some bigger storms that could produce some more significant severe weather. But I do want to begin first with what's happening right now in the United States today and I'll give you an idea of what's ahead here for the next 24 to 48 hours and then what we're going to be looking ahead to for next week. So right now in the southern plains that is where the bulk of the action is today. We've had a lot of showers and thunderstorms that blew up from last night's storm activity in areas like Oklahoma and even the Texas Panhandle. Now all that is for the most part diving down to the south where there's a lot more moisture available and we are eventually going to see some pretty significant storms moving right down here into areas like Texas and as well as into Louisiana later today and this is going to pose a threat for some significant severe weather including really significant damaging winds large to very large hail and even a few tornadoes this reminds me a lot of what we just saw the other day in Lake Charles and back through Lafayette in Louisiana where we had that MCS that produced relatively significant damaging winds as high as 80 miles per hour and even a couple of tornadoes I think we could see something very similar to that today but add in the really significant flooding threat as well and I'll talk about that in a moment for parts of southeast Texas and as well southwest Louisiana now the rest of the country looks okay for right now the east coast is drying out a lot drier than what we had over the last few days and also back over in the midwest there are some showers up there lots of cloud cover but overall it's nothing really that concerning or out of the ordinary for this time of the year now today's severe weather threat is a really small area in nature it's not really like you know we're not going from Texas into like North Dakota for for example. Instead, this is basically just stretched out from New Mexico back into Louisiana and Mississippi, where we do have an elevated risk for severe weather, primarily across parts of central Texas and back toward Houston, where we have a level three out of five severe weather threat, which again is an enhanced risk for severe weather. The main concern in that orange shaded area is going to be very large hail, damaging winds, and then also a few tornadoes will be a possibility. Notice we have three other small marginal threats, by the way, of severe weather. We've had a lot of these little small areas over the last few days where they're just kind of detached from that main corridor of the severe weather threat but overall nothing too concerning in those areas other than maybe some isolated damaging winds or hail here's the wind threat for today notice the storm prediction center did not add a hatched area so that means the damaging wind threat should be capped off at around 75 miles per hour that's going to be a scattered to numerous threat in that red shaded area it'll be a bit more widely scattered if you're in the yellow area and then isolate if you're in the green shaded area where damaging winds will be a possibility make sure you're hatching down your trampolines and protecting any loose lawn items outside today because those damaging winds can definitely send that stuff flying and then the hail risk for today is primarily going to be anywhere from about Waco back through Abilene out of those initial storms today but notice we do have a hatched area where we could even see a couple of storms from like Midland Texas back closer to San Angelo that could produce the threat for some very large hail as high as baseball so make sure that you are are protecting your vehicle we actually had a hailstone back up in northern Oklahoma last night up to four inches in diameter so that was pretty crazy I don't think we're gonna get that large of hail today but definitely can't rule it out if we get any sort of discrete cellular activity the tornado risk for today it's actually smaller than what we had last night they have actually shrunk down this risk quite a bit it's primarily going to be from about Abilene back into areas like Houston where the greatest tornado potential will be that is a five percent chance within a 25 mile radius so a relatively low risk overall and even if we have any tornadoes they should stay on the weak and brief side of things since most of these storms are going to be in a line now I do want to point out there is a significant flooding threat today this is something that you really need to be monitoring very closely if you're in either the red or pink shaded area as there will be a threat for some substantial flash flooding especially back down here in southeast Texas and back into southwest Louisiana including areas like Beaumont and even back over towards Lake Charles where we could see a as much as 12 inches of rainfall just today so you need to make sure that you're watching this very closely turn around don't drown on the roadways this is a threat that a lot of people sometimes forget about in weather but unfortunately we are going to see a lot of rain the moderate risk even includes areas like dallas fort worth and then this again is your high risk for excessive rainfall which again will lead to flooding today and once we go into tomorrow the storm prediction center did issue a slight risk for severe weather anywhere from louisiana back into mississippi where there will be an L 
elevated wind and hail risk with even a few tornadoes being possible and then a large marginal threat from Oklahoma back into East Texas. This is going to be again for flying fences Friday. We do also have a tornado risk but again it's going to be on the lower side of things relatively similar to today but the tornado risk is primarily going to be centered across southern and eastern Louisiana, southern Mississippi as well as southern Alabama with a very low tornado risk even back over in the Florida Panhandle. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware there and then by Saturday things become relatively isolated for severe weather primarily there across the east coast and then by Sunday things are going to ramp up again and we'll be talking about that here in just a moment. The significant tornado parameter values for today primarily centered across areas in southeast Texas. I do think the greatest tornado threat will be sometime around about three to six o'clock tonight primarily back over in your areas north of Houston where there will be a bit more shear available and that's also right around the peak of daylight heating and then once we go into overnight tonight the tornado risk should be much lower it will try to rebound as we go into tomorrow and late morning and into the afternoon hours back over in parts of louisiana mississippi and southern alabama so we'll also have to watch that potential pretty closely here's the timing for today storms will continue this morning we already have a line that's developed back over in parts of western north texas and that'll ramp up throughout the day today really starting to crank up that damaging wind threat across central texas all modes of severe weather again possible but they will really become more into fruition once we get closer to three to four o'clock this afternoon as this all drives to the southeast any discrete cells that fire up back out here to the west of this line could produce some damaging winds very large hail and again a tornado or two and i'm not ruling out a strong tornado out of any storms that do develop that are discrete west of the line of storms and once we get after rush hour tonight those storms will start to move towards the houston area with mostly a wind threat but a couple of tornadoes still being a possibility and we'll still be monitoring any discrete cells back over in west or west central texas for at least a low threat for a tornado and then as we go into the late evening and into the overnight that line will start to push into parts of louisiana and as well as mississippi and also the discrete cellular activity will very much just fizzle out as daylight heating ends and then as we go into friday morning things start to dry out a little bit more now as we go into friday afternoon things will likely start to ramp up again back over in louisiana mississippi and as well as even southern alabama where a damaging wind threat will likely develop again so another mesoscale convective system which is an mcs will try to develop again back over in louisiana overall the main concern is going to be damaging winds but any sort of discrete cells if we do get that or anything that's just embedded in that line of storms could produce an isolated tornado risk so definitely be monitoring that closely and then the flooding threat is going to definitely be elevated notice the hrr model showing a ton of rain between now and tomorrow morning notice many areas even just north of houston going to pick up anywhere from four to seven inches of rain and that is going to be a more widespread amount that is not just the peak of rainfall that is going to be the widespread amount so there's going to be a lot of rain down there but some isolated locations will pick up as much as 12 inches of rainfall and then back over just west and south of dallas fort worth that's also another area where there will be more rain falling there between one to even upwards of five to six inches of rain in some locations so again turn around don't drown on the roadways too many people try to drive through flooded roadways when it's not safe so you don't want to be doing that today now as we go later into the weekend and into next week things are likely going to really start to ramp up when it comes to the severe weather threat across the united states don't forget the storms that we're seeing right now like this one down here in the southern plains they are not really that organized these are troughs that are really not that potent and they're still bringing some significant severe weather but as we go into next week i do think we're going to get a lot more trough ejections that bring a more substantial risk for severe weather it really all begins as we go into sunday into monday with our first trough back over in areas in like the north northern plains and even just north of the rocky mountains we'll get our first risk for severe weather in the central and northern plains on sunday where significant damaging winds hail and tornadoes will all be possible by monday we'll continue to watch that threat evolve across parts of the midwest and even back through the central plains by tuesday we're going to be watching that same sort of threat where we still have a very strong jet stream so strong southwesterly flow and also a trough right off to the north that'll continue to produce a risk for severe weather and then as we go into wednesday thursday and friday of next week we'll continue to watch for more of these trough ejections right over the rocky mountains and this will continue to penetrate a very active weather pattern and perhaps even a dangerous weather pattern here across the united states with multiple rounds of severe weather let's show you this active weather pattern more in detail with the future radar and as we go into friday into saturday showers and storms will continue across the east coast we also have a threat for severe weather even in the northern plains as we go into tomorrow evening and then by the time we go into sunday into monday things
things relatively dry for most of the country but sunday afternoon and evening that is where we're going to be watching for our first of multiple days of severe weather with our first little trough ejection and then once we go into monday we'll have more showers and storms in the midwest but overall the severe weather threat won't really ramp up until the evening and we'll be watching for a couple of different areas anywhere from like kansas and missouri and also back into the great lakes region where we could see a couple of rounds there of showers and storms and maybe even a bit of severe weather once we go into tuesday more showers and storms will be possible anywhere from the midwest back into the southern plains a relatively large area and we definitely could see severe weather really out of any of those areas and then once we go into wednesday those storms move eastbound towards the east coast wednesday might be a little bit of a break but as we go into thursday and the friday of next week things will ramp up once again with more significant severe weather expected with damaging winds large hail tornadoes really possible on any given day of next week aside probably from wednesday we already do have a slight risk for severe weather for sunday we might even go live for this so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel click the bell icon down below as well so you're notified when we do go live thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already